Hi, I'm Shelly Levette, and today I want to share with you how to make apple prints. This is really a fun activity for the children to do during an apple theme or during a fall theme. It's um, really easy to set up and really easy to do. You just need some paper, paint, and some apples that have been sliced in half. And you want to make sure when you slice your apples that you slice it very evenly so it's got a nice flat, su flat surface to dip into the paint and then press onto the paper. You can use any color that you want. We usually use red, yellow, and green, but you can certainly just use all red or whatever color you would like. And we also, I don't know if you can see it, but we also, when the paint is still wet, we still sprinkle a little bit of glitter onto the apple prints, and it really makes a nice effect. So I'm just gonna show you quickly what you would do. Again, you would just need some paper set out for the children, and you could put the apples already in the paint. You will notice that I have plastic forks in my apples, and this is just simply a handle um, for younger children to hang on to the apples. The forks stay nice and secure into the apples, and so it's easier for the children to dip the apples into the paint and then press them onto uh, the paper. You want to make sure that when you're done dipping your paint, you don't have too much on the apple, otherwise it'll get kind of globby onto the paper. So you just want to make sure you have a little coating on your apple and then you would just push it down on the paper and it makes a nice print. And again, you don't have to use all the different colors. You can just use yellow or you can just use red, whatever you would like to do that you think um, would look pretty in your classroom. And certainly children can choose whatever colors they want to use. So that's a red. And again, it helps if you have your apple cut nice and flat um, on the surface that you're going to be putting onto the paper. And you just dip it in. Now that one had a little bit too much paint. got a little bit glabby. Just like that. And then you would take some glitter and gently sprinkle it on while the paint is still wet. You don't have to do glitter but it looks nice, and then shake off the extra onto a piece of paper or on a plate, and there you have your apple prints. For apple prints, I'm Shelly Levette with childcareland.com, and thanks for watching.